Oh, look at the way she looks at her. Look at that little cheeky smirk. She's checking her out. She's like, yeah, you go sit down, hun. <laughs> oh, they just keep looking at each other and they're just so feeling it. She's like, does she know what I ask her? Deeply in love. Mm. I can't cope. I can't cope. It's just so... my channel welcome back to another snowy escape video we are now on part five and it's going so well if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell if you want to see the rest of the channel and you can find all the previous parts in the description box below as we're almost halfway through now i think so we've come back to new year it's new year's eve and we've had a couple of updates so celia and aspen both just found out that they've gained a lifestyle so they've gained the close knit lifestyle so i'm just gonna have a look at what that means your son will need to lose an active lifestyle in order to progress in a new one that's new i don't know what that means is it because she's they've got they well they've got three and one's in progress but anyway um, a close knit, so Sims living a close knit lifestyle prefer to form deep connections with a small circle of friends. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, a Sim should keep their friend count between one and three Sims while seeking to deepen the relationships they do have. So I'm guessing from that, that's because they really only have each other. They don't really bother with other relationships and friendships outside of their relationship, which is kind of cute, I guess, that they've, had, they've been wrapped up in their own relationship for so long now that they're not really fussed about other ones, which I think is quite cute. And the effects it has keeps good friends longer but has a harder time staying friends with sims at lower relationship levels more likely to gain long-term sentiments with friends that's good can ask to be confidant and gains unique flavor socials with confidant i will try that out tense when without friends or when friend group grows to four or more okay so that's cool and i guess people person's the opposite and we'd need more than three friends i guess okay so that's exciting. So both of them have just got that close knit one now. So the plan really, what I want to do then is have Aspen and Celia kind of enjoy New Year's Eve. They're going to celebrate tonight. They'll probably go out, get some drinks, celebrate, do all those fun things, set some fireworks up and stuff like that. But in the meantime, we've got an entire day to enjoy. I want to get rock climbing up as well because I want them to be able to get to the top of Mount Kamarabi. So masterpiece oh my gosh she's so good can we sell it that's the art gallery for oh yes now we have money this is good this is good um what are they talking about this chit chatting sell it to a guy yes of course um we have then level five snowboarding and level four rock climbing and i think celia is much lower then we've got level two rock climbing and level one skiing and snowboarding so I She's got, uh, I bought rock climbing gear last time, didn't I? So what we'll do then is, cause she can't use the next one yet. We'll let's see if this will make it, maybe she'll learn it quicker. Aspen is bored. High energy boredom. Ah, she needs to get back on the slopes. No action, no fun. This is the thing as well, is this job is not fun for her. It's not giving her what she needs. Look at how bored she is doing these reports. It's just not new. Are we close yet? Lifestyle gained, adrenaline seeker. So she's similar now to Aspen. Her and Aspen have the same lifestyle, which is the adrenaline one. I Means she's gonna get bored too. Level three. Yes, okay, so we can do the other ones now. Okay, so here we are. Let's equip our climbing gear. Let's do a meticulous climbing session up here. And you can do one too, Celia. Tempt climb. Let's hope this goes well because this is a slightly dangerous climb, as you can see by the height of it. This could be quite difficult and partially dangerous. 
she's okay, she's okay, she's standing back up, she's standing back up. Whoa, Aspen's like up there. Look at her go. Maybe you should help her out a little bit. Where are we? She's just doing the homework, she's like, nope, not for me, sorry. Okay, she landed on her feet, she landed on her feet, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, are we at the top? Are you coming up to the top? Because I know we can go up here. And then I think this is where you start your excursion. Where we need certain people with a certain level of rock climbing to do it. What's the matter? Close call. Okay, right, we're going to leave that there. I'm not going to do any more. How about we, how about we try and ski down the mountain? Can we ski down the easy slope? Where's the easy slope? No, we can't. It's had a major injury and is in no shape for it. Okay, let's go back down to the bottom. Right to the bottom. And then she'll snow down. She'll snowboard down. And meet you there. Oh, is it because the snow's so thick? <laughs> is that what that energised me that is? On an adventure. Oh, Celia. Oh, it's okay, you can put your pretty dress on and we'll go out later for New Year. And maybe that'll make it- oh my gosh, she just face planted, she completely- Oh god. Aspen, look at her go! Aspen is just so good at this now. Is she gonna land it? Is she gonna land it? Oh, um, Never mind. Head back to the house. Close call, getting injured. Oh my gosh, she's badly injured, no! Okay, let's get you home as well, are we? Oh my gosh, they both have close calls. Oh, it's the romance festival though. Let's get them. We've got some remedies and things. Um, I know Aspen has some. Let's try and muscle soak better. I think Celia's starting to plan something now, so. It might be, I think, a New Year's Day thing. Maybe they go for a romantic hike. Maybe they go somewhere quite secluded and sweet and just have that nice little New Year's Day start New Year together. And then Celia is going to finally pop the question. Because I think even though she was worried about Aspen's career and desires and wanting to be, you know, uber successful and always moving at 100 miles an hour, I think Aspen's proved that actually she doesn't have to do that and she can be here and be with her. Oh, look at the way she looks at her. Look at that little cheeky smirk. She's checking her out. She's like, yeah, you go sit down, hun. <laughs> look at the way they look at each other. Look. All oh, the little... <gasps> I just love... love. I love love. Look at that look. Look at the way they look at each other. I think we'll ask her to be a confidant but not just yet or maybe we pick someone else i'm not sure because i kind of like she gets a snow bro and they get confidants and stuff I'm like do we keep it just between us <gasps> oh cute or do we have a bit more a bit, a bit like widen our circle a little bit i'm not sure let's um joke about old times even though we don't know the guy do an impression get all those party vibes Let's sing about New Year's Eve. We started singing today. That's a thing we can do now, apparently. Why are we singing Jingle Bells? It really throws me off. Okay, she's done her party vibe one. She's done, okay, we're now going to take our drinks. And we're going to come in here. And everybody's watching the countdown. Watch current channel together. Oh, can I click watch countdown to midnight? And... Actually, if we watch current channel together, then we know for certain that we're going to come and watch it. We've only got 30 seconds. We're about to start the countdown. Well, Aspen's gone. Are you going to? Come on, don't be late. Oh my gosh, they're starting, they're starting, they're starting. Idiot, don't miss it. Oh gosh, she's really cutting it fine, this one. 
Stop it. Oh my gosh, we've literally got like 20 seconds. Go, 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 go. Don't miss it. Oh my goodness. Chats to stress me out, this one does. Where's Aspen? Look, 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 everybody's here. Okay. Two, one. Happy New Year! Oh, look. Give her a kiss. Give her a New Year's kiss. Or is she already going to do that? I don't know where she's gone. She's seeking her out. Oh, look. You off to. You're not going anywhere. Stop it. You did. You watched the countdown. You definitely did. You were stood there. How did it not? Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Now, no, we're gonna order some fireworks and we're gonna set those off. We order purchase gift. Um, or does it have to be done on a computer? Oh, it might have to be done on a computer. We can set some off at home. We've got a couple of hours. I. Right, let's go home. Happy New Year! Oh, it's exciting. So we've celebrated the New Year, we've brought that in, and oh, it's time to head home so we can set some fireworks up and have a cute little evening and get to bed because they're very tired. And tomorrow is going to be a really big day. Tomorrow is the day we go on another hike and we get engaged. I'm very, very excited. Now, we do need to travel for this resolution, not resolution, for this tradition and festival as well. Maybe if we travel to a different part of town and go on a bamboo hike, that will kill two birds with one stone. I'm really excited. I really, really, really want to see this happen. Oh, I've been waiting for it for so long. Celia's been planning it for so long. I haven't even seen the ludicrous slope, so I have no idea what this looks like. Okay. okay, there's trees, there's rocks. Okay, that was good. Where are we going? Down here. Oh, it's a big bend. Whoa, that's like a cliff. Oh my god. Oh my god, how is she this good? Jesus. Oh. I mean, that was a fantastic run. Right, we're going to do the expert one again. Because I want to get some shots of that again. Okay, we've done our cleaning. We've done a little bit of cleaning. We will go hiking in a second. Is there anything else you can do to clean up? Okay, it's time. It is almost sunset. We're excited. Oh, because I travelled. Okay. I think... Right, let's make our resolutions first. So Aspen's resolution is going to be... Um, yeah, let's complete an aspiration milestone and Celia's aspiration, resolution even, is going to be, oh, I wish it would be like get her degree because she's like doing a degree. Um, let's raise a skill. It's a bit boring really, I wish you could make more creative ones. Now, what we're going, let's change our outfit to your let's go into your party wear uh, yeah because we've kind of got a bit of a white theme here and then the bamboo forest it's bits over there so this is the start of the hike where celia is at some point going to ask her to marry her i don't know where we're going to do it yet i don't know which part of the like we're gonna do it on. Look at that, look at Celia's little walk, she's got such little, little hips. Okay. Oh, oh the spirit! Let's make a wish that she says yeah. You're gonna stop. Take a picture of the sights. Oh look, look at them on their little
So what are they looking at? The forest and the plantations. Okay. Can you make a wish? Actually, Aspen didn't get to you. Oh, we walked past it. Okay, never mind, never mind. I don't like how they're ignoring them. Like, if I saw those, I'd stop. That would be everything. Forget taking in the sights. That would be my moment. I'd be like, whoa. What's occurring here? I want to see them looking at each other on a little hike. Look at the way she keeps looking at her. Like, what are you looking at, Nathan? It's you. Mm. She's like, I'm going to walk past her, you? Oh, they just keep looking at each other and they're just so feeling it. She's like, does she know what I ask her? Right, but don't start doing your homework. Wow. That's nerves, that is. Go over here. I, I don't like that she just stopped hiking. But we'll go this way. Where are we going? Where's the hike gonna end? Is it here? She said yes, she said yes, she said yes. I never doubted, but but look. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we're just we're just so in love and so engaged and ah this is so exciting. Right, we're gonna have a wedding, we're gonna have a wedding. Deeply in love. I can't cope, I can't cope, it's just so... The hiking not count as exercise. <laughs> On top of all of that, that was silly. What just happened? What? What just happened? What the heck was that? Go, now. What was she just attacked by? What the hell was that? Friggin' electrocuted her. That was a stressful end to a proposal. So I want to get to the peak of Mount Komorebi. I want to do that really badly. To do that, we need to get to level six of the rock climbing skill. I think we're going to focus on that. So they're going to kind of go their separate ways because she's got classes today. And I think it is just that. I don't know how we do the social event, but like whether we can just go together or if we have to get a bigger group. I don't know, well, I think it's going to be a tricky one, I think it's been really tough, like we need to have a decent rock climbing skill to manage it. So we'll see how it goes. But Steely is going to have to catch up, so I think there's going to be a bit of stuff in between so that the next part we can just come back and be ready to do that track because it's a huge thing to do. Oh. Aspen has level 3 of fitness skill, which is good. She seems to be enjoying herself. She seems to be having a good time. I think as well it will make for a good Christmas special episode next week if we do some trekking and getting to the peak. I think it will be a good celebration for Christmas. I think I'm going to leave it there for today then whilst they're enjoying their hot pot together as a newly engaged couple. Oh, it's so exciting. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Next part will be the trek to the top of the mountain. I am hopeful that between now and next time I will get their skills to where they need to be and get them ready to do the trek and be equipped and ready to go so we can do the trek in a group and see what this social event is like and see what's up the top of the mountain. I've heard rumours that there is a secret lot up there so I don't know whether there'll be something they're waiting for us or it will be an empty lot that needs building on not sure but i can't wait to see it so if you did enjoy it please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell as well so you get notified when that post goes up it'll be a very special christmas episode just before christmas so it'll be a nice cozy way um to get towards it, the series so i feel like we're kind of getting to a bit of a climax now with the story and with what's going on and the wedding i think will be that focal point 
So I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I really, really, really can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.